Yo, what's up, uh, guys? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, it's your boy, uh, Looney Gore. Um, and today I'm going to be doing an Assassin's Creed protagonist uh, tier list. I want to start by saying I've played all of the main games. But, uh, I haven't played Liberation or Freedom Cry, but I have played and completed all of the main games. Even Valhalla's long-ass 80-hour fucking game. So, yeah. Let's get right into it. Um, first up is the boy Atawale. Like I said, I haven't played Freedom Cry, <clears throat> but he was in Black Flag. Um, and I, like, know the lore about, like, what he did after uh, Black Flag 2. And I'm gonna give him a B. He's a pretty good character. I like him. I like him. Um, Alexios and Cassandra. I actually like Alexios more. Alexios is who I played with because when I played the game, I didn't know that Cassandra was the canon choice. Um, but I have seen clips of like Cassandra being the character and everything. And of course, I saw the DLC of her in. Valhalla. So yeah. Um Alexios, I would give like an A. Um I actually really liked him. I thought he was funny. I thought he had like a kind of I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm trying to keep it together and keep going type vibe. Which I can respect in a protagonist. Cassandra was just way too cocky for me. I think I'm gonna put her in D. Sorry, Cassandra. Um, Altair. I don't love Altair as much as everybody else, but he's still a legendary-ass character, and he's pretty cool. I'm gonna give him an A. Um, Arno. Arno I have mixed feelings about, because sometimes I felt very connected to him, sometimes I felt very not connected to him. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a C. Oh, oh, uh, I'm gonna give him a C. He's just an okay character. He's just decent. Um, this girl, like I said, I didn't play Liberation, but I have watched some videos on, on it, and uh, she was in 3, and she was pretty good. She was pretty cool. I like her. Um, Aya? Aya was dope. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Aya's going straight into S tier. Um, I... Honestly, I don't even remember, like, playing as her in Origins, but every time she was on screen, I was captivated, because she was fucking awesome. Her and Bayek together was so, like, badass and cute. It was awesome. It was dope. Bassem? He's a B. You know? Uh, I hope they flesh out his character a bit more, but, um, from what we saw of him in Valhalla, he was pretty cool. Um, he was always an interesting character, you know, I never felt bored about him, and the twist ending at the end, uh, at the, the twist ending was really cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, Bayek, easily S tier, he's one of my favorite assassins, bro, Origins is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games, it was so good, bro, like, Fall, uh, like, 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 Origins was so good, bro. So good. I fucking love Origins. And Bayek was an amazing character. He, he's like, he's like, he, Alexios reminded me of Bayek, but Bayek was just better. You know? This guy, I barely even fucking remember this guy. So let's give him an F. I know he's in Revelations, but I literally do not remember him being important, so... Oh, uh, yeah. Connor. Connor? I'm gonna honestly put right into S tier, honestly. Um, I love Connor. I think he's a very cool protagonist. I know a lot of people hate him because of the whole, he's guided by anger, and he's a little dumb. I don't think he's dumb, okay? Yes, he's guided by anger and revenge. But that's not always a bad thing. And 
I don't think he's very dumb. Sure, he makes some questionable decisions at particular times in the campaign, but he is not dumb at all. I love Connor. Um, Desmond goes straight into S tier. Fucking legend of a character. Um, he's in half the fucking games. <laughs> <laughs> and even in the games where he's not shown, he's still talked about. He's like the most important Assassin's Creed character of all time. Um, Edward. Straight into S tier, man. I love Edward. Edward is so fucking good. Like, he's so human, you know? He's so human, and he's so relatable, and he's so cool, and fucking funny. You know, he's awesome. Evie. If he was okay for me, I'd put her in C tier. Um, I think sometimes her little whole like nitwit <laughs> thing kind of got like annoying after a while, but she was still a pretty cool character, you know. Um, and then where's her fucking brother, Jacob? Jacob, I'd give like an A. Um. I know a lot of people hate Jacob and like Evie more. I liked Jacob more. Um, I thought he was funny as fuck. And honestly, I didn't think he was as dumb as everybody else says. You know, he kind of did like a bunch of smart shit too. But it's whatever. Um, and plus I like how he runs the gang. Like that whole aspect is really cool. <laughs> Young Ezio. Young Ezio is like an A, I'd say. Um... You know, he, he's kind of dumb, too, a little bit. Well, he's, he's kind of misguided. He's re very vengeful and everything. He's kind of like Connor, in a way. Um, and then... Uh, a young adult Ezio is definitely an S tier. Very cool. Very uh, talented. Very skillful. Uh, very fucking badass, very dope. I think young adult Ezio is probably the best character in the entire franchise. It's like, like I, Desmond's the most important, but he's the best one. And then you got wise old Ezio. He goes straight into S tier. Um, he is another amazing character. He's basically just this character, but just wise as fuck. And like, has like that uh, hindsight, you know, about everything. Uh, female Avor. Um, I played with female Avor because she's the cannon pick, and I did not play with male Avor. Um, so yeah, I don't know shit about how the male is. I've seen like a couple clips, maybe, but female Avor was like. She was like a B. You know, she was a pretty cool... She was a pretty good character. You know. I mean, Valhalla was just an okay game, but... She made it a little bit better sometimes. You know? Definitely could have been worse. Uh, next we have Haytham. A lot of people think Haytham is like the best character. I don't like Haytham all that much. Honestly. I'd just give him like a C. Maybe. Maybe a D, even? Um, I, I, I don't know. I just don't like his character. I think he's very weird. And, like, sort of creepy. And shit. And, like, you could argue, Oh, that's his purpose. Oh, but that doesn't mean I have to like him. He's a well-written villain, I'll, I'll give you that. He's well-written, but, um... I just don't really like him all that much. I don't know what the fuck this shit is, but we're gonna ignore that. Um, Layla. Layla Hassan. Layla's pretty dope so far. Um, we've only see seen her in like a few games, but she's pretty awesome, honestly. Um, like I said, male Avor, I don't know. And then you have Shay. Um, Shay is just like... No, let me give Layla an A. And then Shay... Shay's just like a C. I don't know. He was an okay character. 
you know, he was alright. He was pretty good, whatever. Um Alright, that's gonna that's gonna be it for the tier list. Here it all here it all is. Here it all is. You know? Yeah. Alright. I'll see y'all later.